hello there my dear youtube friends in this video i'll be teaching you guys on how to send custom data to intercom via api so i'm just going to show you on how to uh, send to a particular contact here in this case i have uh, intercom account and the one of the contacts that i have chosen is my own uh, is my own data here so this will be the de details of my uh, my uh, contact and I would like to add or send a custom attribute to this particular uh, contact here so that I'll be able to send whenever there is a cloud function whenever there is a trigger locally so I can actually just directly send it to this particular intercom uh, uh, contact here and of course we're going to refer to this email as as my as a reference and by referring to this particular email it can uniquely identify a contact a particular contact in your in your contact list here and let's get started by the way without further ado so first let's see what's the first step here in this case we have already set up our intercom so that's the prerequisite of, of this of this particular tutorial and next let's look and the next step will be set up project file here create a folder so let's go and create a folder and yeah it's gonna go to desktop I'm gonna create a new folder this I'm gonna name it uh, intercom test okay it's gonna put it here and let's see what's the next step and let's open this particular folder with VS code and just show more option and just open it with code here I think we have already opened our uh, VS code and let's open a new terminal okay we are done with that the next step will be is to set up uh, i mean initialize our project so by click by typing a npm in it so just we're gonna just uh, type npm in it in our uh, powershell at the bottom here so npm just go down npm in it So it's going to click on enter a couple of times and yeah of course okay so as you can see here a new package.json file has been created once we have initialized our project that's the first step when we when we run a project next will be we need to install intercom client package manager via npm as well so go to this particular uh, powershell again we're going to type uh, npm install intercom client and let uh, let intercom to be installed uh, fully So yeah, it has been installed and we can actually go to package.json here and we can see uh, intercom, one of the dependency called intercom client has been installed which shows that this particular pack, I mean package has been successfully installed here. So that's the, that's the, the step that we have just wanted to create and next will be create an index.js file. So we'll go and create a new file here called index.js. So we have just created a new JS folder file, sorry. And let's initialize intercom in our code here. So we're gonna uh, just type in a variable intercom. And we're gonna require the client which we just installed, the, the package here, intercom client, okay. So we are just done with that. Next will be initialize client. And when we initialize our client, we need to have a token here, a token key, to intercom token uh, uh, ID, which we'll be needing to get it from this particular uh, documentation of it. And in this case, I'll be showing guys on how to access this particular uh, 
token which is you need to go to developer hub For example click on developer hub and once you have reached here you will be you need to go to any one of your already created app or you need to create an app if you don't have any of this and just go and create a new app and click on the app you have just created once you have clicked on that particular app you need to go to uh, access token there and you need to copy it and just paste it uh, in just just copy it for now and yeah you'll be you'll be able to follow this uh, step here using this particular documentation okay so in this case i've already have my token key already been uh, uh, copied since i've already uh, i do i really don't i really uh, keeping that particular access token to be very crucial and very confidential so i've already copied in another uh, clipboard so let's go and let's go to that particular uh, this the next following step will be to initialize the client here so let's go and initialize client new the com dot client and let's open a bracket and a clip curly braces and this is why we're going to fill up our token and this is going to be your token okay so this is where you're going to place your your token here the token uh key here so once you have uh, already copied the token just fill up here in this case uh, i've already have my token so i'll be copying it uh, and pasting it here so just gonna move to the next step so let's add headers so just gonna copy this this headers is actually required since uh, this for meant for uh, like as a prerequisite uh, intercom uh, header so that and every single time there's an API call this header is the one that will be able to uh, access make this uh, request to be possible so we just have to just have to fill up this as long as it is uh, here then it should work and next go to the last step here I guess so the last step will be is to uh, send the custom attributes with email as a reference so I'm gonna copy all of this so I'm gonna just copy and paste it here quickly and let's see how does this code actually work so we're gonna we're gonna call client object which we just created here and we're gonna uh, call users and we're gonna update a particular uh, contact here so let's see but let me just okay that's how it should work so you see here email is what we're gonna use as, as the reference here and nickname is just one of the attributes that's already been exist but we don't we won't be requiring this particular nickname we're gonna delay this for now and of course we're gonna use custom which I mean custom attribute is the one that we're gonna uh, we're gonna send it to so in this case let's see if I like change this custom attribute to uh, data okay the next step which is we need to send it to the particular uh, email here so let's say we're gonna send it to my email we're gonna copy this particular email that we would like to send it to and by by copying this email I'm gonna paste it within inside email here so like this and I would like to send this particular data sent custom attribute to uh, to intercom here so and of course this particular custom attribute does not exist here that's why it's called custom so you can actually go and click on edit here and check if does this particular data sent attribute does it exist uh, as you can see here it does not exist uh, prior to this uh, uh, video here so as you can see here when I search for this particular attribute as it does not uh, show up any uh, any results that actually uh, same as this here so it's gonna click on done and let's go and run this particular code here by running this code you'll be able to send to, to this particular intercom contact which is I'm sending to myself and make sure you fill your email here uh, your email and your yeah just email will be the the best one to refer to so as you can see here let's go and click on save 
and let's run this particular uh, port by clicking on in node index okay it says null uh, null means does not uh, return any error so it says uh, successful so let's go and click on uh, refresh here so once we have clicked on refresh and let's check whether there's this data sent custom attribute has been sent or not and it's gonna zoom so it's gonna search for data sent so as you can see here now you will be able to find this here so it's gonna make it show its detail and click on done as you can see here it says data sent is equal to true so this means that we are able to pass our data sent custom attribute to our particular contact which is uh, my my contact here we are api and yeah i think yeah that is all from me that's the end of it and if you would like to have this full code i'll be leaving it down in the description this video and let's uh, catch up now on another episode of uh, another another video tutorial of uh, all these integrations and automations and yeah thank you guys for watching this entire video hope we'll be meeting in another uh, coming tutorial uh, and then uh, till then peace